quite a contrast from last year, the annual State of the European Union address was delivered with much optimism. Ten years since crisis struck, Europe economy is finally bouncing back, and with it, our confidence. The wind is back in Europe's sails. The EU is on its fifth year of economic recovery, and Eurozone unemployment is at a nine-year low. A key message? Europe is open for business, but must always defend its strategic interests. We say ja to the world, but we say also ja to the protection of our core industry and to the protection of social standards in the European Union. Yes, sí, to the transparency on the commercial commercial but we have to defend the interests of the citizens. In essence, free trade that respects Europe's social standards without resorting to protectionism. EU growth plans don't create jobs. It's businesses that create jobs. Yeah. Eight million jobs have been created since Juncker took office, but it hasn't all been plain sailing. In the debate we had this morning, Il n'y a pas eu le début d'une autocritique sur les effets des politiques d'austérité qui ont été imposées au peuple. Policies that have been criticized for making it harder for people to make ends meet. Notre but sera désormais d'assurer à toutes et à tous la possibilité d'une vie digne d'être vécue. Der richtige Weg für eine gute Zukunft Europas kann nur der sein, indem man mehr Demokratie zulässt. As Europe continues to plot its way forward, come March 2019, there will be one less member state. All I can say is thank God we're leaving. But you've learned, you've learned nothing from Brexit. But recent election victories of pro-EU politicians have ignited a newfound zeal to reform Europe into one that's more attuned to the needs of its citizens. It is now the moment, now or never, I should say, like in the song, to build up that uh, European Union that the people are asking for. Siamo convinti che questo Parlamento possa veramente dare un contributo determinante alla crescita dell'Unione, al miglioramento dell'Unione per lavorare insieme alle altre istituzioni, insieme per compiere tutte le riforme necessarie. The main political groups welcomed Juncker's call for a union of freedom, equality and rule of law.